We're asked to fill in the blanks to complete the equation. So they have 86.93 is equal to 5 tenths plus blank ones plus, three, plus 9 tenths plus 3 hundredths. So let me expand out 86.93 and just think about how I could regroup the value in the different places so that I get something more close or exactly what we have on the right hand side. So the 8 in 86.93, that's in the tens place. So it literally represents 8 tens. So I could write that down as 80. So let me do that. That's 80. The 6 in 86 represents 6 one. So I can write that down as 6. Then the 9 in 86.93, that's 9 tenths. So I could write that down. I could write this 9 that's right, to the, that's right of the decimal place. This is plus 9 tenths. And then the 3 in 86.93, that is in the hundredths place. It represents 3 hundredths. So this is plus 3 over 100. So I've expanded out what I, the, the number that I have on the left. Now let me write out what they have on the right again. So this is going to be equal to, they have 5 tens here. So I'll write all the tens places in this red color. Then they have blank ones. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to literally write out a blank. Plus blank. Plus 9 tenths. So the 9 tenths is still 9 tenths. Plus 3 hundredths. Plus three hundred. So let me make sure that we color code this. So that's the nine tenths. This is the five tenths. That's the fifty. We have the blank ones. That's this right over here. Nine tenths. And then finally we have the three hundredths. Three hundredths. So plus three over a hundred. So how do we get the right hand side to be the exact same thing as the left hand side? And by adjusting this blank. Well, both sides have a three hundredths on it. Both sides have a 9 tenths on it. And so what's really different about the two sides is on the left hand side, let me do this in a color that we can actually see. On the left hand side, you have an 80 plus a 6. On the right hand side, you have a 50 plus a blank. So 80 plus 6 is clearly 86. So what does 50 have to be, or what has to be added to 50 to get to 86? Well, you have to add 36. You have to add. 36. So now both sides add up to the same thing. 80 plus 6 is 86. 50 plus 36 is 86. Then you have 9 tenths, 9 tenths, 3 one hundredths, 3 one hundredths. Now you might be saying, hey, wait, you know, you were 36 here. Does this literally mean 36 ones? And I will say yes, it literally represents 36 ones. You could literally view this. This is the same thing as 36 times 1. So we can rewrite this as or we can fill in the blank here. 86.93 is equal to 5 tenths plus 36 ones plus 9 tenths plus 3 hundredths. And I encourage you to add this up. You will get 86.93. Now what have we essentially done here? Well, what we essentially did, if you compare the 8 and the 5 right over here, you see that we took 3 from the tens place. We took 3 from the tens place, but taking 3 from the tens place is essentially taking 30. Is taking 30 from that from that the value that it represents. So we took 30 from the tens place and we gave that 30 to the ones place. We gave that 30 to the ones place. So you had 86, you take 30 away, you have 50 in the tens place represented by this 5, and then you give that 30 to the ones place, you have 36. You have 36 ones.